As players get into the later stages of their career, oftentimes it's an injury that leads to retirement. After an injury like that, it takes some time to regain the strength to push the ball down the field. Let's take a look at what we got here. This play is all about timing. If you guys mess up that timing, you'll never get home on the blitz. But we're putting the secondary on an island, so you guys gotta get to the QB and force the throw. Hey man, that was great. I mean, you had a great day today. The game is really starting to slow down for you, isn't it? I can't wait to see what you're gonna do on Sunday. Good job. With the playoff game in just a few days, everyone was waiting to find out if I'd be returning that week. Or if I'd hold off and hope for a win so I could possibly return in a later round. It was without a doubt one of the toughest decisions in my career. With the playoff game in just a few days, Everyone was waiting to find out if I'd be returning that way, or if I'd hold off and hope for a win so I could possibly return in a later round. It was without a doubt one of the toughest decisions in my career. I had no idea how the team would react on or off the field to my return, but deep down I knew it was what I needed to do. Returning from an injury like this wasn't going to be easy, and in this situation, we needed to make the smartest possible decision so I could be effective all game long. It's the Chicago Bears taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. This is playoff football in Chicago. The cold, the wind, the snow, and these Bear fans wouldn't have it any other way here inside historic Soldier Field. Ahead will decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? Assumption was that he'd be out for the rest of the season. But we found out this week that this is not the case. And you have to give him a lot of admiration. You have to question whether or not he should be out there, putting his body on the line. And from the franchise's perspective, they have to wonder whether it's worth having him. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. And Charles, how important do you think it is that the coaching staff helps him get in a good rhythm early on? Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Well, they are on to the next round of the playoffs, and the story will be the gritty, gutsy effort by one of the league's best QBs. And he certainly proved the naysayers wrong today, partner, no doubt about that. Now, overall, an up-and-down performance but he did enough for his team to get the win and advance to the next round. He and his team both have to have confidence and believe that he'll be better the next time out. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. After the game, I was even more sore than I expected I would be. I suppose it should have been a sign that the news I'd be getting from coach wasn't great. devastating, especially since I had worked so hard to come back from this injury once. But because I had come back once, I knew that with the cautious approach, I could come back again. I don't think I've ever been as nervous for the regular season as I was when I returned from injury. I felt like a rookie again, only this time around, I knew I had even more to prove. This game defines who I am as a person. If I don't give everything I have to be the absolute best, I'm not only letting my teammates and my fans down, I'm letting myself down. It's the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. On 
first and ten. Prince. Oh, he's going to. And guys, man, complete. Pass. CD, what is a thing or two that you're going to be keeping your eye on as this ball game unfolds? Well, I'll be keeping a strong eye on how Porter can save this team, but he has to go out and play like the guy we expected to see at the beginning of this year. On first down, Prince. Going deep this time for Miller. And that's caught in second, second down. will head back out there already an excellent field position thanks to the inter and he will score as much exultation as exhalation right they just breathe a sigh of relief finally got a win needed one desperately after a month of subpar football this team finally notches their first win of the season i was pleased with how i played and it felt like coach's confidence was returning also i really believed we had a decent chance of turning the season around Today, from Soldier Field in Chicago, it's week 17 of the NFL on EA Sports. Deception. On first and ten, Prince escaping the pressure right. He'll run it, and he's out of bounds. Almost get throwing on first down. Prince, and it's caught. And he'll end from the gun. Prince, open man. He finds come on first down. Prince. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. 50 of his NFL career, and it puts him even with not just one, but two Hall of Famers, Michael Irvin and Charlie Joyners. And he takes this one in. It's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bears, a final win means they will finish off the regular season at a very strong 12-4. and four. As you'd imagine, the locker room was hyped after that game. I had plenty of tough moments in my career, but fortunately, I had a lot of great ones too. And I have to say, this is one of the better moments in my whole career. Thinking back on it now, it didn't matter what happened the rest of the season. We lost in the playoffs to the team that was absolutely stacked with talent. But that one moment was one of the best of my entire life. One piece of advice I always give to the young players coming into the NFL is not to take the end of the year awards for granted. Between the star power on hand and the amazing history of the league, it's an honor to be there. I took time to rest up and get ready for the next season. Tried to focus on getting my mind and body right, you know? And I needed it for what came next. That was a comeback for the ages, and it was a treat to watch. <laughs> it was one of those situations where, when you've been around long enough, you just start to see the game differently. It's almost like everything slows down around you.